fine. I'll do it myself. Gracias por ver la esquina de Jody. Thank you for watching Jody's Corner. YouTube was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. This is going to be a tough one. I uh, looked all over. A lot of people aren't really commenting on this, and the ones that are being very PC and safe, and for good reason, because they don't want to get canceled. But me, I'm not really going to talk about this in the sense of it being, it's not going to be a hate video because I don't hate. Lil Nas X posted for the People magazine with some exclusive photos showing him pregnant. This is his baby bump. And the idea that comes from, came from a Megan Thee Stallion song. He says uh, he was inspired to do the maternity style photo shoot after listening to a verse on Megan Thee Stallion. You're already starting off with a good look there. Taking something from Megan Thee Stallion to create your photo shoot. Good job. He was said, I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. So I immediately called my stylist and she shared. She was like, wow, this all comes together. Your album, your baby. I was like, yeah, this is my baby, huh? As a joke. She was like, yeah, you should do a pregnancy shoot. Well, here we are. He says, I was like, you know what? That's actually brilliant. So now we have this entire thing coming out. It is going to be amazing. He says he's in a relationship with someone who he thinks is the one. He's feeling really happy. Got his uh, album coming out. Critics didn't really like it too much, but fans came to his defense, of course. Uh, they talked about how kids would feel about seeing this. And then he said, if I poop myself with your kids, want to poop themselves? Neither here nor there. Here's another image right here. This is not a joke, ladies and gentlemen. This is actual life. This is reality. This exists. Um, she is wild. People Magazine is spreading false information out here. Here's my take on this situation. Lil Nas X, you are dumb as shit. And it has nothing to do with your sexual preference because I'm going to completely leave that out of here. Want no beef with the LGBTQ alphabet community because I have a lot of people in my community who are part of it. And that's perfectly fine. I'm going to talk about your mental capacity here. Bro, you out your god dang mind coming up here showing the world that I'm pregnant, spreading false information to not only little girls, but to little boys as well who are going to see this and who are going to go to school and are going to talk about it amongst their friends. You see Lil Nas X? He's having a baby. I want a baby. And then one of the classmates are going to be like, you dumb idiot. You can't have babies. You're a boy. And then the students are going to be like, what, teacher? They're going to send him to the office. And they're going to try to, the principal's going to pretend to have to discipline this boy for having common sense for telling another boy that you can't have a baby because Lil Nas X said you could have a baby. It's fake. Then the principal's going to probably have to send him home for the day. And the son's going to come home and say, with the parents, I'm so disappointed in you, son. You got sent home for being a distraction in class. What is wrong with you? Dad. All I did was say that Lil Nas X is not pregnant because boys can't have babies. What do you, Lil Nas X, what? Dad, here, let me show you. What's going on? Holy jeez. So, son, what is this shit? That's what I'm saying, Dad. I went to class. The, one of the kids says he wants to get pregnant just like this guy. So I said, you're dumb. You can't get pregnant because you're a freaking boy. Boys can't have babies. And then he told the teacher on me, and then the teacher sent me to the office. Are you sure that's what you, why you were sent home, son? Yes, dad. Then you got the motherfucking dad going down to the school, raising all the torps of freaking commotion. And right, he should be for that. This is what I think of. Not only are you spewing our kids' minds, just like... A lot of these other uh, ratchet rap it, rappers and shit. Uh, I just talked about Lizzo not too long ago on my video. Check it out. But you're promoting 100% false information here. This is what I remember. And it's hard because on YouTube, I'm willing to sacrifice this shit. I've been blacklisted on YouTube for a while now. Ever since, you know, they started to change things up because PewDiePie wanted to send Nazi shit all over the Internet and ruined it for us ever since Adpocalypse. I'm willing to sacrifice me getting shown in front of the viewers. Most of y'all ain't even going to be able to see this video because YouTube won't recommend this video because I'm keeping it a buck on some ignorant shit. 
We live in reality. Social media is destroying us as a people. You think this is okay because of social media. You could throw it on social media and then just walk away and live your life in your own bubble and think that you don't have consequences for your actions. Because most of the time, they don't have consequences for their actions. They live in a freaking bubble. And social media is a protective barrier to keep them from reality. So when reality finally does hit, social media is gone and we got to really get hit the streets. Shit hits the fan. Y'all are going to be the first ones to get eight. YouTube has blackballed my channel for, for, for commentary like this. I'm not talking about his sexuality. We're talking about his mental capacity. This fool is mentally ill, bro. You are sick. You know, I've been thinking about myself. I've been thinking about converting myself into a Ferris wheel. I want to be the greatest Ferris wheel of all time. Call me Ferris. Last name, wheel. Yeah, we be chilling this shit, going to the fairs. I'll be on a world tour. I'll be over there chilling with the Ringling Brothers. I'll be posted up. People be sitting in me. I'll be spinning what the freak we got to be able to take a stand and be like this shit is dumb bro all of your and honestly you people who are looking to get inflamed and get upset this has nothing to do with sexuality so if you're in my comment section talking about his sexuality you're a freaking tool idiot freak up out of here has nothing to do with sexuality this has to do with his retarded brain because he thinks as a man you can get pregnant when you just can't nature says no solemn judgment hand no negated so talking about the context of youtube and how my channel has been blackballed because of the shadow ban because of some of the stuff i say i'm gonna keep it 100 i have a community that supports me this is why i'm able to still be here i would have been gone once that ad revenue started to dry up and i don't get no more views and shit I would have had to have leave because I got a family to feed. But I got this community that funds me, that donates, that become members, that allow me to say the things that I'm saying here today. And I appreciate y'all. Join the family. If y'all tired, want the truth, subscribe. New channel coming soon. I remember in the election how the former president, Donald Trump, was putting out tweets on Instagram, social media, YouTube. And I remember YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all of them uniting together to disrupt and delete his account for spreading lies and false information because they're being really responsible out here. You got to be responsible when you spread false information. I want that same smoke for Lil Nas X shit. Ban his Instagram. For promoting false information that males can get pregnant to millions of people, including our children. Where's that same energy? Now I'm really starting to think that there's some shit going on, bro. There is some shit going on. There is an agenda. There is a there is a story that a play that they want to be acted out. They have an ideal. They have a a, a, a plan. Because this right here is doing more damage to children in our society. Than what Trump was saying, half of the stuff that Trump was saying, not all of it. Some of the stuff he was saying was crazy. But if you would do that to him, you should do it to him. What's the difference? He spread false information. You're saying that you could get pregnant. You're putting the illusion up. You're saying these contractions are killing me. What? He put something on Twitter. Look. Oh, my God. He said something on Twitter. Look, look, look. For a good measure, he also puts an edited image of the album cover and posed on the ultrasound. These contractions are killing me. He put it on Twitter. He's pretend He is making it seem like he's really pregnant. All these contractions. Oh, my new baby. Oh, my new album. And People Magazine, you should be ashamed of yourselves, too. Y'all trash for helping spread this bullshit. So, so YouTube, I want you to demonetize and delete all of the People Magazine channels. I want you, you Instagram, Twitter. I want you to delete and mute Lil Nas X for spreading completely lies and false information to millions of people and give him a ban for like three months. I need that because that is the fair thing to do, isn't it? 
the end of the day, bro, I feel sorry for how this motherfucker grow up. He had no friends, probably had a dysfunctional family and shit that no one ever lean on or relied to. Nobody gave him structure or rules. And he, I mean, he's probably mentally ill. Somebody get this man a doctor. Somebody get this motherfucker a doctor. You need to sit down with a psychiatrist, Hemi. Look at this motherfucker, bro. With the, with the pregnant belly. What the heck? Oh, my contractions. Bro, you freaking sick. You're sick as shit, bro. And uh, freak that. All right, man. Subscribe to the channel for that real content, bro. I got to keep it a buck out here. I'm Jody Joe, and I'm out this thing. Deuces. <laughs>